Hi folks, we're back and now we're going to move on with our structural uh, plans. So here I did the first one with you guys and it's pretty much the same to go through each one of these uh, floor plans and do what we did with the first one. We, we definitely uh, used the view template. So now I'm going to focus in on, on level one. Just have this one open. And what we're going to look at now is something pretty interesting that I've seen in 2023. And now we're going to see how this really works. Okay, so we're going to load in some content in here. Um, we want to go to the Insert tab. And we're going to load our content this way. So now uh, Autodesk is doing it. Instead of going to load from the, your hard drive, it's going to load from the cloud. And so now the elements we're going to need are going to be under for this. We're going to fall under structural. Yeah, right in here. So for now, I'm going to select structural columns. And then here, uh, this breaks down pretty nicely. So that structural columns are breaking the concrete in different sections here. So now Autodesk, what they've done here, so it's pretty good. I'm gonna select steel. And then for this project, I'm gonna look at hollow sections, HSS for our columns. Uh, let's see, if I can just key this in. There you go, HSS. Uh, we're going to go with the hollow square column, that one. And we're going to load it. And so now here, uh, in the type selector, I can type, pick the one that I want. I think for this project, we can get away with a, an independent on a structural engineer. But for this project, I'm going to go with a six by six. That's kind of what I'm known to see in a building this height. Uh, okay. So that what they're saying is a six by six inches by, I want to be a little thicker, six by six by five eighths. Have a three eighths in there? Yes. So I want to use that one. I'm going to click OK. Okay, so now um, we want to go back in to load some more items. So we go back into our cloud. Yeah, this is different how they've done it before. So I guess it's new to 2023. So I'm going to go to Structural Frame and Steel. Let me go K bar Joyce Rod for my web. So let me go back to Structural Frame. Uh, let me go back a little more. Let's see. So I guess this ain't too bad. You got to get used to it. I'm steel. And K-Series bar joists. Let me see. That one right there. That's going to be the one we use for our, our webs. And then let me see if I can find a flange in here while I'm over here. The WW uh, what I find in here. All the structural guys out there, help me out. <laughs> okay, there it is. So I can probably grab both of these. Let me see if I can load them together. Nope. But for that one, I want the 16.5. That one. And I also want the 26K9. I want to go OK. So those are in my project. And then I want to go with the W24 by 55 here.
this is the first time I've done this this way. And I'm going to go through it, and if it's, if it's good, I'm, I'm going to like it because uh, I'm going to look at certain things as far as file size and whatever, and it is kind of nice to have to jump from project to project unless you have to, and I don't really have to because I'm doing this by myself. We're doing this by ourselves. Okay, we're going to go 30 by 90 here. up here okay uh, there that one okay so all that still is loaded into my project and so at this point I want to save this and then we want to start focus on on our location of our grids for our beams and stuff. So at this point, we're gonna uh, lay out our grids. Actually, I'm gonna leave it there for the moment and I'll talk, get back to you in the next, in, in a minute. Talk to you soon, bye.